Hi there, my name is Victoria and I'm one of the speech pathologists here at Best Start Clinic. Welcome to our short video on some common keyword signs you might like to use with your child during play, at home or in everyday communications. So keyword sign is the use of manual signs or natural gestures to support our communication. In this video, we're going to look at six new signs. We have want, give, yes, who, help or help, and open. So let's try an activity with these six signs. In a real activity, you might only want to start with one sign. You could practice it over and over again and ensure that your child fully understands the sign and is using it themselves. You might need to help mold their hand as some of them can be a little bit tricky. So an activity with a child with a good understanding and use of signs might look a little bit like the following. So first, pick an activity that you know that your child enjoys. So, do you want the bubbles or a balloon? Oh, the bubbles? You want the bubbles? Yes. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Oh, is it stuck? Do you need some help? Who could help? Ah, I could. Give to Victoria. That's right. Victoria helps. Ooh, it is stuck. We need to open. Oh, there we go. It's open. Should we blow them? Bop, 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 bop. So that was a lot of signs in a really short space of time. You might want to reduce the number to match your child's capabilities. So the use of signs does in no way detract from their development of spoken language. We know that giving a child the means to communicate their wants and needs can actually support their language development. So have a go at trying a few of these signs at home. If your child is a visual learner, they may really benefit from the added support. We look forward to hearing about how you go. Thanks for watching. More signs to come soon. Bye.